A British satellite's for the first time successfully thrown a net into orbit to demonstrate how to capture a piece of space debris. There are millions of items of space junk floating around the Earth which pose a risk to operational spacecraft and satellites. The experiment was a demonstration of the type of cleanup operation scientists say will become routine if we want to keep exploring and using space. Our science reporter Laura Foster has more. From old bits of rocket to small tools dropped by spacewalking astronauts, there's more than 7,500 tonnes of space junk littering Earth's orbit. There's so much this rubbish could cause problems for our GPS systems, phone and television signals and the systems we use to predict the weather. So scientists have devised this satellite called Remove Debris. Launched in June, it's now successfully fired a net and captured a piece of rubbish. The idea now that the junk will burn up when dragged back to Earth. But the net isn't the only cleaning method the satellite has to test. Next up is the onboard harpoon. This is the, the harpoon that we've been developing um, and on the Remove Debris mission they're going to be testing the, the kind of smaller brother of this um, one uh, to, to show that we can successfully capture a piece of space debris in space using a, using a harpoon. Some had questioned whether the problem of space junk could really be solved by adding more devices to the Earth's orbit. But these early results suggest low-cost techniques such as these could work. Though this project is still at an early stage and more tests need to be done before it can be used to collect every piece of rubbish. Laura Foster, BBC News.